Leia. My name's Ronald. I'm Gio. I'm Nick. Once Euphoria came out, I used to like think I was like Rue style and I would wear like a mesh top under like a t-shirt and I thought I was eating it up. Everyone in Japan, they're very like orderly, formal. Everyone kind of looks the same, black and white. But in New York, everyone is so like bold. I feel like in Dominican Republic, I wouldn't dress like this at all. We need to slow down production and focus on slow fashion and intentional fashion. Well, hello, beautiful people of the internet. Welcome back to my Zine, your digital fashion magazine. Today, we are back with a what the cool kids of New York AKA fashion students are wearing. The things I manifested in my last video did come true and I am visiting some new cities and shooting street style there. So if you want to see more street style, you should subscribe. We're not here for long intro, so without further ado, thank you to Zenny for sponsoring this video and let's just see the cool fits. My name is Alexis and I study FBM. This is from my grandma's wardrobe She's 90 years old, okay. so it's vintage. This, my mom gave this to me. It's vintage guess. My inside is Helmet Lang. I thrifted these uh, Nike pants in Japan, and my shoes are from Vibram. And my bag is, it was a gift from my parents when I was like 14 for my birthday. My dad is from New York, but my mom is Japanese and I was born and raised in Bangkok, Thailand. I would say like, okay, everyone in Japan, they're very like orderly, formal, everyone kind of looks the same, black and white type thing. But in New York, everyone is so like bold and they're like expressive and they're just, they just wear what they want to wear, they don't really care. And in Bangkok, I would say there's like a mix, but it's not very fashion forward in Bangkok, I would say. In Tokyo though, there's like more people that dress like how they want to dress, but I would say the majority of like the population in Japan is more like, you know, formal casual. Yeah, kind of. But I love Japan though. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm Teo. My major is AMC, just casual business. And today I'm just combat boots, black shorts, thrifted Budweiser top, and then I matched it with like you know little red moment. And then this is just my mom's purse that I use for everyday school. So yeah. All right, my name is Kevin. I'm AMC. This is thrifted from Beacons. These as well. Beacons. I just wanted to do a little red on the little red moments they got somewhere in there. But Doc Martin with the white and the red. Yeah. And then I got a little bag. I don't know. I think it was grailed. Grailed. Mm -hmm. And then that's basically it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very simple. Oh. Fictional. I can't character. think of a fictional character. I can think of like a celebrity that I love. Okay, like that's Rihanna. Cool. Love her style. Like that eclectic. Like different colors or like just different like patterns and stuff and like layering and stuff love her style i don't know about you though a character uh i was thinking of like anime characters yeah i was gonna say an anime character but i didn't want to be yeah <laughs> like a little no. weird i don't know what anime character but it have to be something like that because yeah. I, I like the going all out might as well mm -hmm. oh, oh my gosh. all the time <laughs> i once euphoria came out i used to like I think I was like Rue style and I would wear like a mesh top under like a t-shirt and I thought I was eating it up but like I look back at those and I'm like girl like what is going on girl but I fixed my ways you know I'm still learning though still learning. I just had like a very baggy color pop moment where I would like wear baggy clothes with like so much color oh and I just look like a walking like I don't but even color's know. color's good <laughs> we <laughs> no. love color. It would be like the opposite color so yeah. it would be like uh -huh. look like a paintbrush or paint palette or no, something like that. <laughs> My name is Sierra Mencia. I'm a textile surface designer designer. I am wearing a thrifted oversized plaid shirt I got from the Goodwill. These are they're like some silky pants I also thrifted and these are Rumbart. They're made from uh, plastic bottles. They're recycled. They're about like 98% sustainable. I'm not wearing it right now, but I found these really cool um, thrifted loafers. They look like leather, but they're made from this very like obscure material. Um, whenever I like rub it, it changes a different color. It's pretty cool. I want to get my license finally. <laughs> I'm 35 and I still haven't gotten it. I mean, I'm born and raised in New York, so I think it's about time I get around to it. <laughs> Welcome to commercial break. You know what's as cool as rocking cool outfits? Rocking your cool house. Which is why I have to thank Designer for sponsoring today's video. Thank you for bringing me affordable high quality wall art. So last year you saw me redecorate my office and put a bunch of cute posters on the wall. And they're from Designio. So I thought it was time for another round. Designio offers trendy, high quality Scandinavian prints and frames and updates his collection super regularly. 
Zenu has something for everyone and every style and is shipped to countries worldwide including to the US within 2-4 to four days from its US based warehouse. The Zenu has its own in-house design team working to bring you unique and trendy designs you can only find exclusively with them. Let's see which prints I chose. Number one, this beautiful purple Ferrari one. I have a big thing for old cards and when I saw they had this one I just had to get it. I also got this fruity one that I feel like is so summery and happy that I think I'm gonna put on my desk because the ones on my desk are all black and white and they're kind of sad looking. Next up we've got some oysters and I live in a city that is known for its oysters so I thought it was kind of funny to get it and I'm not gonna lie I also got it because I love the combination of pastel yellow with pastel blue and I have a big crush on anything checkered. Last year I got one Tom and Jerry poster and I absolutely love it. It's sitting next to my TV so I thought why not add to the collection? I saw so much Tom and Jerry when I was little. My dad literally had VHS tapes of it. So it's very nostalgic for me. I also got this pink Japanese print. My mom has actually been saying that my room at her house feels really empty and she wants to redecorate my room at her house. And so I thought why not bring the Zenyu into my old room? And so this one's going on there. And of course I got beautiful frames with all of the posters. I usually go for the gold frames or for the black ones. I just like they go with everything and the gold ones kind of look more vintagey. So if you want to get cute prints, use the code Maya for 45% off your prints. 45%! Personalized and canvas excluded until the 26th of April. Link below! Okay, back into the video. Um, I'm Aya, I'm an AMC major and I'm wearing my kafia. Gotta support Represent. free Palestine. Um, I'm wearing, these are vintage free people pants and then the shoes are new rock. Um, the sweater is super old, I have no clue. And then the belt is thrifted. My name is Jonas, I'm a fashion design major, and this pants is actually Aya's, and I got some Tim's on my feet, real New Yorker shit. Mm -hmm. uh, I got my, my knockoff kofia, but you know, you gotta represent how you can. Free Palestine. Here's my oh, Bugs Bunny please. sweater. I got from H&M, but I got it like seven years ago. So it's not fast fashion if you have it for seven years. I got my uh, my Glad garbage jacket that I embroidered with the uh, little flames and oh, I put a the yeah. Oh, cool. And yeah, that's it. Oh, I got wait, hold on, you hold this. Got I got you. my boys brand staff NYC up in here oh, with okay. the shirt. Put that on the video. Killing them. Yeah, he has an awesome brand shout out too. Shout out Omar. 250 is his. Shout brand. out 250. Hell yeah. Hey. <laughs> I think the main thing that we need to focus on is the issue of overproduction because there's a lot of people in the industry talking about we have sustainable methods and we're using biomaterials and all this shit. And that's cool, but if you're still making 100,000 clothes a year for nobody that's buying them and wearing them for one day and then throwing them out, it's still super wasteful. So the number one thing is we need to slow down production and focus on slow fashion and intentional fashion where you're making things for people that's gonna use them and people that's gonna use them for a long time. So things that last is the most sustainable. It's the same in architecture. The most sustainable buildings are the ones that stay there, mm -hmm. that we don't tear down every five years. Using what you have, like it's so much fun to just rework your own clothes. And I feel like it makes you more creative and you get to see more out of your own wardrobe. My name is Kylie, I'm an FBM major. My name's Mackenzie and I'm also an FBM major. Today I'm wearing this hat from Depop. This is a Prada blouse from, or button up from a vintage store in Charleston. The skirt is from Rogue. They had a pop up with Ed and Mislaya. And then these are from Madden Girl. So this top is actually from the Urban Jungle in Brooklyn and so is this scarf thingy. And then these pants are from Brandy. And then my boots are actually from Second Street Vintage. And my bow, I'm honestly not sure. I'm sorry. <laughs> my name's Ronald. My major is fashion design. Today, basically everything is thrifted, or like a gift. Like this jacket was like my mom's. I made this necklace. This was thrifted. This is my dad. And these shoes are just like really old, beat up shoes that I got as a present. <laughs> Probably like one of those jackets that have like, they have like the fur and stuff. The, like penny lane coat. Yeah, I really want one of those, like a black one. My name is Carlos Casanova. I study acting for film in NYCDA. This is a blazer from Zara. My tank top's from Uniqlo. I thrifted these boots. My jeans are from Zara. The belt is from the flea market in New Jersey. 
and the bandana is from my girlfriend, Ivana. I used to live in Spain, I'm from Dominican Republic. I feel like in Dominican Republic, I wouldn't dress like this at all. You know, like they go more like for street style, more like um, oversized t-shirt, kind of a skinny pants, I know, I know. Um, some baggy jeans. Um, but I feel like I would wear this in Spain, like totally, 100%. In Dominican Republic, I wouldn't wear a bandana, not at all. And I wouldn't be carrying on uh, like a tote bag. I'm Gio, I'm a FBM major. I'm Dana, FBM as well. I'm Alexa, FBM. I have a um, thrifted jacket, then this is a friend's. It's like LA apparel. This is thrifted, it's Burberry. And my boots are Zara, and this bag is from Salvation Army, I think. Um, this jacket I got from like the Goodwill bins. It's like leather, I don't know. This is just like a waffle thermal shirt. Uh, denim, Lee, Lee jeans from my brother, and then Adidas Speciale. And my bag's from Ripco. <laughs> I'm wearing my roommate's jeans. Um, this jacket, well, coat that I got the first time I visited New York because it was freezing. And then this is hers. <laughs> uh, Mary Jane's that I remember where they're from. I'm Bella, I'm an AMC major. I'm wearing this sweater that I thrifted. Ooh. from Buffalo Exchange. Mm -hmm. These are from the Goodwill bins and Doc Martin. Nick, I'm a photography major um, and my outfit is from, okay, so this is thrifted. Oh no, from a consignment store, whatever, same thing. Um, <laughs> Urban Outfitters, <laughs> Urban Outfitters, <laughs> and then Diesel on the shoes. I'm Leia and I'm an illustration major, third year, and I'm wearing, well, this is her hoodie. She yeah, this is my hoodie. <laughs> um, but I thrifted this from Goodwill in Ohio. These were from Buffalo Exchange a couple years ago, and this one's just my mom's shirt. This is thrifted. I mean, most of my clothes are thrifted, but these are Miss Me jeans, thrifted. <laughs> um, I just got this belt from Second Street because I needed to pick up my pants and Converse's, and yeah. Uh, my name's Malcolm. I'm an FBM major. I'm just wearing, like, some old beaded Jordans. Some uh, these pants are called like Carson Watch. I don't know. And then this is my dad's old shirt. And that's about it. Hi, my name is Paige. I'm an FBM major. The sweater is thrifted. Navy, I think. Boots are thrifted. Doc Martens. Uh, jewelry is either thrifted or my grandmother's. Hi, my name is Nico. I do menswear. I got these hiking boots on Depop. Don't know the brand. These are thrifted, um, uh, anchor blue, uh, spelt, thrifted it, uh, this year I got it, like, down the block, and that's pretty much it. Alrighty, so this was the video, these were all the outfits I had to share with you today. Last outfits before we fully transition into spring, I'm so excited to see people walking the shorts, and the skirts, and all the transparent stuff. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and follow my scenes Instagram, I also have a Spotify playlist with all the music I use in my videos in case you're curious, and I'll see you next Sunday, bye! Oh, and if you want cute posters, check the link below.